Hello viewers. Recap Daily is back with another movie. A younger kid arrives on the scene at the start of the film. Who is distributing the newspaper in a town? There was also a funeral home in that town. The child notices that no one has collected the lying newspaper outside from funeral home. Then that child moves to detect the funeral home, taking his camera. Going there, he takes a photo. Where he witnesses someone's eyes. Then a man appears before that child from that funeral home. The name of this man is, Dark. Being frightened, that child flees without taking his camera. Afterwards, Dark puts that camera in a box. It had already stuffed with some belongings of others. These were the belongings of those who had already visited here. Then it is seen that, Dark, is officiating the funeral of a kid. A girl named, Sam, appears there after the funeral. Sam, had actually visited there for a job. Because, Dark, had displayed a, job wanted poster. Then, Sam, observes the mysterious collection of the funeral home. There were also some books in that collection. These were capturing the attention of, Sam. And she was also inspiring by them. Dark, tells that there are the tales of the dead people. Sam requests on it, tell me some stories. And all stories should be horror and fascinating. After this, Dark, tells her the first story. This story belongs to the time 1950s, where a girl is seen. Who moves to the lavatory during the celebration of a party. The peculiar liquid is stuck on her as she switches on the light. Here it is revealed that girl was actually a robber. Who had moved to the lavatory, making a lame excuse. She had stolen the wallets of many guests of that party. She throws the wallets while she keeps the money safe in her possession. She had also stolen someone's precious wristwatch there. Then she hears the noise of someone from a cabinet. She tries hard to open the door of the cabinet. So that door is opened hardly. Opening the door, she is badly scared. Because a scary and horrific monster had been imprisoned in that cupboard. And that monster had the tentacles. That monster was exerting to come outside. Anyhow, that girl locks the door of cupboard. Then she begins to leave from there while strolling. Suddenly, that wristwatch is dropped down by her. A loud noise is created because of the falling wristwatch. That tentacled monster comes outside, hearing that noise. And it drags that girl into the cupboard with it, grabbing her. And it also extincts the lights there along with it. Here their first story completes. Sam, comments, this story was average not highly praiseworthy. Because she does not like much of this story. She says to, Dark, I want to hear the scarier story. But, Dark, takes Sam's signature on an agreement and that funeral home is being visited later. Then, Dark, tells her the second story. And the year of this story is 1960. It means the story after the ten years of previous one. Where a boy is shown who meets a girl. Both are befriended after a conversation. They spend much of the time with each other. Next day, that boy notices the rashes on his body as he wakes up. So he visits a doctor for his treatment. Where the doctor was hearing the sound of a creature from his abdomen and the most shocking medical report appears of that boy. It is that boy is expectant. As that boy returns to his house, his abdomen begins to grow. He shares it with his friend through a call. Then he moves to that same girl. Reaching her house, he shows his anger on her. You were responsible for this. Look, what I faced. Immediately, that boy begins to feel ache. His skin was also looking eccentric. Then his abdomen is instantly burst. As a result, that boy loses his life. But a monster baby comes into life when he is dying. Then that girl's mother saves that monster baby in a room. Where many monster babies were already there. This told story seems fascinating and faultless to her. Because this story was exciting along with the great critical elements. Then, Dark, leads, Sam, to the cellar. Where he shows a dead body of a girl to, Sam. Then he tells the story of the same girl. And this story belongs to the year 1970. It means this story is also after 10 years of the previous story. Where husband and wife are shown who were happy in their conjugal life. And the husband used to love deeply with his spouse. But that girl faced the mental disorder exactly after the marriage. The husband of that girl attempted hard to cure his wife. He used to take care of her. But she does not get even the little recovery. His husband was greatly upset because of this. He used to take much stress. Once, he has a candlelight dinner with his wife for her recovery at night. But his wife was neither uttering a single word nor eating anything. Even she had stopped to act. Then that lady's husband gifts her a sculpture. 
and he also gives the overdose of drug to his wife at her dinner. Because it has been suggested to him by the doctor. Because he wanted to free his wife from her agonized life. That lady's husband did not want to carry it out, but he had to act upon it. Suddenly, that lady's hand begins to stir. And she catches her husband's hand. Her husband makes his wife vomit, witnessing the movement of her. Because she might be dead due to the overdose of drug. At the same time, his wife's head strikes with the table. As a result, the kept sculpture before her is thrusts into her head. And she meets her end. Observing it, her husband instantly calls the doctor. And he reveals the whole story to the doctor about her movement and death. Doctor says to him, do something with your wife's dead body. It means, dispose her somewhere. Hearing it, that lady's husband acts the same. He puts his wife's dead body in a box. But that lady's feet were not adjusting in the box due to box's small size. So her husband dismembers her both feet. And he begins to leave through an elevator, adjusting the dismembered feet in the box. But the elevator is stopped at once. The blood begins to flow from that box. The whole elevator is filled with the blood. That lady's husband is much scared because of this happening. And he tries to unlock the elevator's door to come outside from there. At the same time, his neighbor arrives there. So she calls the police to assist that man and to free him from the elevator. Then the elevator is activated and it was moving downward. Then that man looks outside. Then he begins to recall all past moments spent with his wife. Immediately, that box is unlocked. That lady's demon moves to its husband, coming out from there. But it is known that it was just the hallucinations of that man. There was nothing happening as such. Because he was facing trauma due to the hypertension, Police had also found that dead buddy at box, approaching there. And that man is sent to psychiatric hospital. Sam, also interests in this story. Sam, says to, Dark, your all told stories are fascinating and fabulous. Above all, all stories are didactic. It means, as you sow so shall you reap. After this, Dark, leads, Sam, to the sub-basement. And the, Sam, tells about herself before, Dark. She tells, Dark. I did not visit here as to be appointed for a job. But I have come here for that child placed in the coffin. Who has recently died. She tells that I am guilty for the death of this child. She tells, Dark, of her story. She tells that I was the caretaker of this child. And the parents of that child were not at home eat that day. They had left a voicemail message for, Sam. As she can cook anything if she feels appetite. Where, Sam, is cooking meat for her. But TV broadcasts a news that, a few patients have escaped from the psychiatric hospital. Then, Sam, notices a wounded man in that house, Sam, assists that man. Knowing about this news, she suspects that man. Either he has escaped from the psychiatric hospital, so she crushes his hand, putting it into the electric meat grinder. There is great fight held between that man and Sam. And, Sam, loses her consciousness because of this fight. Then that man begins to move to the room of that child. Coming into senses, Sam, also goes there. Where the fight again begins between, Sam, and that man. During this duel, that man falls down from the stairs. Then, Sam, says to man, approaching there, you are lunatic who have spoiled my dinner. Saying it, she drops the TV on his head. As a result, his head is squashed. After a time, the parents of that kid arrive there. They are left surprised, witnessing that man. They are also scared because that man was not anyone else but the warden of their kid. Because, Sam, was not the caretaker of that kid. But, Sam, was a psycho patient. And she was one of them who had fled from the psychiatric hospital. Then the parents of that kid notices, that kid is also missing from there. They try hard to search for their kid everywhere. But they find him nowhere. Opening the door of the oven, they are left dumb. Because, Sam, was cooking the meat of their kid not the other thing. Here it is revealed that, Sam, was actually a serial killer. She was not a stable-minded. And she was not only the serial killer but also a cannibal. Capturing the kids, she used to dissect the kids and eat. After killing them, she used to keep their one tooth of each, as a memory. So she was not able to grab the tooth of that child, so she had visited this funeral home to take the tooth of that kid. Where, Sam, also stabs, Dark, using a knife. But, Dark, begins to cackle. And the surprising fact is this, there was not any bleeding where the knife had been stabbed. But the sticky liquid was releasing from there. Sam, is afraid, 
Witnessing it, she begins to flee from there. But, Sam, had entrapped in the funeral home now. She tries enough to escape but all in vain. It was appearing as that funeral home had taken the form of maze. Dark, had done it not anyone else. Afterwards, Sam, enters a library. Where, Dark, taunts her, my daughter. It is just the beginning. Just look, what would happen next? Saying it, Dark, begins to fall some of the books there. And there were the stories of those kids in those books, who had been mutilated by, Sam. While all those children were guiltless. Then the demons of those kids begin to come out of those books. All demons of kids capture, Sam, and begin to eat. After this, Dark, infuses the same sticky liquid into the body of, Sam. Afterwards, he stitches her body later. Doing so, Dark, also leaves the funeral home. Coming outside, Dark, vanishes turning into the ashes. Here it is also known here that Dark, was not a human but demon of, Dark. Then it is seen that, Sam, has awakened in the funeral home. It means that, Sam, is going to run this funeral home collection after, Dark. After this, the current time is seen where, Sam, was telling the same story to that child, who was shown at the start of the movie distributing the newspaper. That child is scared from, Sam, and says to her, I am going to the house and I am getting late. Sam, says to him, why are you hurrying to return home? We have to prepare the dinner yet and we have to dine together. And the movie completes here with the spoken words of, Sam.